Hey everyone, I'm Aussie Gamer, and welcome back to Aztec Forgotten Gods. In the last video, we, uh, took down the, uh, Lord of Rain and Thunder, and also had our first game over screen. So, it's time to head back to the, uh, dig site. Drop off the, uh, power. And move on to our next story beat. Not. And I have nothing else really to do around the city, except for the trials, and I'm not going to be working on those. All because, well, you're kind of annoying. Okay, I'm halfway there. Now, just need to. myself directly in front of the fountain there we go depot okay T I'm here Sp spill it those were gods we've been fighting with actual gods Well, yeah, I kind of saw that one coming. <laughs> Everything is there in the hidden archive. Someone in the Institute knew it all along. There are records of everything. Dating back thousands of years. Huh? T, simmer down. Walk me through it. Huh? The Protocol of Silence. The Institute has been running something called the Protocol of Silence for years. It's basically this initiative meant to erase any and all mention of those gods from official records. Huh. Maybe they've been hiding them? Huh? Not just them. They have done everything in their power to make sure people forget about them to make everyone think the gods are nothing more than children's stories or folk legends. They have been literally rewriting history to make it so. <laughs> Good heavens. And what is it, T? What's the truth? <gasps> this is what will blow your mind. According to this, Long ago, some sort of living organism arrived on this planet, piercing through the atmosphere and crash landing somewhere in the vicinity vast eastern ocean. Okay. So, is it that chimera looking thing that I've been getting visions of? They describe this creature as a massive elongated monster covered in feathers. Oh, you're talking about Tez. Okay. You know the one. When this thing arrived on Earth, it was chaos. It went on a rampage. All around the world, wreaking havoc, everywhere it went. Most ancient civilizations of the First Era kept record of it with different names. Their own interpretation of this thing. <sighs> the Long Wang uh -huh. Ryujin <gasps> Jormander uh -huh. The Hydra <sighs> and we called it the <gasps> Feathered Serpent. Uh -huh. The list goes on and on. According to these records, 
Our ancestors struck a deal with the creature. This bit has been heavily redacted, but for what I can tell, in exchange for nourishment and resources, the Feathered Serpent was to share knowledge and technology with our civilization. Okay... Seriously? We gave him food in exchange for a few words of wisdom? <gasps> and the promise of not tearing our city down. But yeah, pretty much. This is... Thing is, this technology, this knowledge, it was beyond anything our ancestors had ever seen. All of what the Feathered Serpent showed them seemed like some kind of miracle. They thought him a god. And this god, as time went on, started to take a liking to our ancestors. Their potential. They found mutual respect. They marked the beginning of the Second Era. They had peace. And everything was as it should be. Mm, sure, there's a poetic way of putting it, I guess. Anyway, that went on for decades as our ancestors rapidly grew and prospered. They conquered everything around them and found ways to adapt the serpent's technology in new ways. Until one day, something happened. More giants arrived. They called them the Forgotten Gods. Oh boy. Forgotten Gods? And they changed everything. At first, the Great Serpent convinced them not to annihilate our, civil our civilization. Yeah, I can see that. Arguing... Humanity had improved impressive potential and capacity for growth. So they agreed to the same deal the serpent had. Food in exchange for knowledge. However, as the years went by, food started to run out. So humanity rose up against them. Huh? That's how the Great War started? Well, that always starts over something. Precisely. The Forgotten Gods were extremely powerful. Those records are scary to look at. Huh? Yeah, I've seen them that firsthand. Huh? Right, your visions. Huh? I don't get it, though. We were clearly losing. What happened? Huh. The Feathered Serpent. Seeing how... His siblings were decimating humanity. He sided with us. He designed that thing. Lightkeeper? The serpent made it for a warrior. Someone close to him. For a while, they were able to hold them back. But ultimately, the Forgotten Gods proved to be too much for them. So the serpent and this hero brought them all together inside the city, and as a final desperate move, the serpent used his own body to trap the Forgotten Gods underground at the very center of... Oh. Okay. The Feathered Serpent himself became a, a prison holding these giants down. Gave his life for us so we could have a second chance. Oh my. Huh. They say the serpent saw it as his life mission to give us that chance. He had a big heart after all. Huh? Yeah, I guess he did. The ancient weapon, as instructed by the serpent, was placed at a secure location for safekeeping. The Institute never figured out where that location was, I think your mom found it without realizing. And then the Lightkeeper found its way to you. <coughs> huh? 
weapon to face the gods? Who wouldn't? Who would have thought? After that, we started over. We rebuilt the city, literally, on top of the Feathered Serpent's prison and the Forgotten Gods. And the rest is history. Uh -huh. But I don't get it. Why hide all of that? What's the point of the Protocol of Silence? <sighs> they were afraid someone might knowing, knowingly or unknowingly mess around with the Feathered One's prison and set the Forgotten Gods free. Uh, yeah, that happened already, and now I'm trying to write that. If no one knows about them, there are no fanatics, no adventure seekers, no one to bump into them. Gotta give them that. When you think about it, it kind of makes sense. Who knows how many people across history would have wanted to get their hands on a god. Ugh. We could have prepared, but better suited to defend... be... been better suited to defend the city. Well, it doesn't really matter much now, does it? Shit. Gods. We defeated gods. What are you going to do now that it's over? Huh. Sleep for, like, a week, for starters. <laughs> Understandable. Oh. Then, I think I might join you at the Institute. Huh? Wait, really? Huh. Yeah, I think I've had enough to of hiding behind shitty jobs. It's time to move on. I think that's a great idea. Huh. We should go inside. I'm sure Ma will want to hear all of that as well. <laughs> Alright, last one. <laughs> Ma, we made it. You won't believe what Tipo found out. Ah, oh, great. It's you. What are you doing here, old fart? You want to take the credit now that I've done all of the work? Mm. Mm. Not at all. You have done a magnificent job. That was all you. Your mother notified me when the last giant came down. You have no idea how much of a relief that was. Mm. The fact that the giants have been defeated is exactly why I'm here. Yeah, with that smug look on your face. I'm not bound to secrecy anymore. There's something you should know. Don't bother. Ackley, you've done a great job. But I need you to listen to what the director has to say. Why? Is he gonna explain why he hid the fact that ancient gods were buried under our city for the past however many years? Is he going to explain why the Institute erased the Great War from all the history books? Uh -huh. I knew you'd find out eventually. Especially considering how I allowed your friend to snoop around in the Black House archive a couple times. Uh -huh. You you knew. Mm. That's one of the most secure facilities in the city, Tipo. Of course I know. Also knew that Ackley would n never truly trust me after our first few encounters, mm. so I helped indirectly. <laughs> Look, sir, uh. it's okay. I'm not here to reprimand anyone. Were I in your position, I may have done the same. Fear of deception in right amounts can inspire action. Which is what you both did. You and which I do not fault either of you for. Ugh. Whatever excuse you have, I don't really want to hear it. We already know everything we need to. Mm -hmm. Actually, listen to me. The worst is over now. There is no more fighting ahead. 
I have a feeling there's at least one more. Please just calm down and listen to what the director has to say now. <sighs> Fine. Just say your piece and let's get this over with. Uh. Eckley, to you and your mother, first I must apologize. I let my own fears and frustrations convince me to act suspiciously. Uh. No, duh. I should have been more forthright with you. I should have explained everything immediately, but I didn't. And I want you to know why. Not to excuse my behavior, but to provide context. A protocol of silence? That is correct, young man. After the Forgotten Gods were defeated and our ancestors started to rebuild, a decision was made. Oh, all this dialogue! In order to ensure that no one would ever jeopardize the integrity of the deity's prison, no one was to ever mention the prison again, or how to get to it. While those present, or in any way linked to the Great War, were instructed not to mention the Forgotten Gods, or the Feathered Serpent ever again. And finally, a council was created with the sole purpose of guarding the secret of the gods underneath. The council was led by Zuma, the ancient hero, and as time went on, this group became what would eventually be known as the Institute. Eventually, people forgot about the gods and the war, and along the way, it was decided that not a group but a single individual was to remain keeper of the secret in order to safeguard it, make sure no one would accidentally stumble upon the buried gods. <gasps> the Institute's director? Mm -hmm. Yes. You cannot begin to imagine how much of a curse it is to walk around knowing that death could rise from beneath your feet at any moment, it is your responsibility to stop that from happening. Uh, okay. Huh? Why didn't you just ask for help? There's gotta be someone out there that you can trust. Mm -hmm. Well, you also have people that you can trust. And yet, for most of your adventure, you decided not to ask for their help, either. Why was that? Huh? Because... I didn't want them to carry the burden as well. Hmm. There you go. Hmm. Well, there is one last thing that you should know. What I'm about to tell you will be a lot to handle. But now that all the gods are down, you have a right to know. I'm not sure I even want to know now. <sighs> it's okay, T. Talk. This is all... This is... This all is basically over. Oh... I hate... How they have some of these sentences phrased sometimes. It's time. There are a few sections in those documents that are redacted. Right, the exact details of the battle between gods and our ancestors. Food in exchange for knowledge and technology. As you can clearly see, the energy inside those giants is special. The same energy that light that powers Lightkeeper? The energy your mother found here. That is the energy of human life. The energy of humanity's very essence. <laughs> what? Those gods, they didn't feed on corn and beans, they fed on us. The deal our ancestors offered 
with the lives of a few in exchange for survival of the many. Oh my. The energy you have been using to get around the city to face off those giants that you've collected to free your mother. The energy is human. No, that... No. Oh. You can ask your friend if you want to be sure. The one in your head. Your mother told me about him. Uh? Feathers? Is it true? Uh, I'm sorry, Eckley. The only force strong enough to power our bodies is that of life itself. Uh. By the gods. Now you know why I wanted you to give me Lightkeeper, Eckley. To see if we could... Power it a different way. Now you understand why I cancelled the dig. It was... just wasn't right. And I couldn't tell you why without revealing everything else behind it. Never thought it would get to this. I'm sorry, Director. I was stubborn. If I knew, I... well... Perhaps things would have played out differently. Right now, it doesn't matter. We found our way out. Everything fell into place at the end. I'm sorry. I was so hard on you. I can't imagine. Thanks for telling us, Director. Mm -hmm. It is okay. It is over now. Finally, and for good. Mm. Right. I don't believe you! Let's end this. I'm sorry to whoever is in there. I did what I had to. You can rest now. <sighs> this is it. <laughs> Thank you for being there for me, everyone. Taz? <laughs> even if you were an asshole for a while, you still got me through this. Thanks. <laughs> Any final thoughts? Perhaps a little gratefulness? I did your f finish your mission. Huh? Speechless, huh? Well, that's gotta be a first, Feathers. Mmm, <sighs> I don't like this. <sighs> Last one in. I don't think the door is going to open. Huh? Ma, is it working? Hmm? I don't know. Um, that was right. We're not done yet. Free at last. No, oh, it's a puzzle. There are only six. What is going on, Tez? I cleave that. Oh dear. Um... Can you hear me? Uh... No, no, no. This can't be happening. We need to go. Not leaving without her. Listen to me. The lab's chamber is not part of the main structure. It'll be alright. But the main dome is collapsing. We need to get out of here now. I'll get you out. I promise. He high told it fast to the elevator. Alright, what's going on? Don't tell me I have to fight feathers. 
No, it's that other thing. Tez, that thing has got Ma inside it. What is going on? There's only supposed to be six of them. Tez, please, I really need your help. Where are you? No. Not you. Sorry, human, I can't help you any longer. This isn't... I... I trusted you. Whatever happened to your mission? The Feathered Serpent. All of it. What's a cult hole? The Mighty Feathered Serpent. Yes, my brother was enamored by your species. Betrayed his own kind to side with yours. It broke my heart. It also gave me the perfect cover to get you to trust me. Huh? Your brother? Huh? This whole time? You've been pretending? This whole time? You're not the Feathered Serpent? <gasps> Where is he? What did you do with Quetzalcoatl? Huh? I didn't do anything to him. <sighs> oh, Hackley. It's been starring... Staring at you this whole time, you disposed of him first, before any of us. What are you talking about? He was the one keeping us at bay. In a way, it was you who made this all possible. No. Oh. But you helped me beat the giants. Destroy their bodies. Extract their life force. A painful sacrifice, yes. But not... But a necessary one. And now, thanks to you, my brethren live in me. And together we can take your planet's life force... Life and finish the mission at long last. I told you. You... Allow emotions to get the best of you. All I needed was proper bait. It was you. You trapped her. Don't get me wrong. I grew fond of you. I realize now what Quetzalcoatl saw in your kind. I wish there was another way. But this is about survival. My people's survival. You... What did you do to my mother? She's gone now, child. No. I won't fall for your lies. Ma, exactly. Do you copy? Ma, please. Worry not. You will join her soon enough. Your life force will save my people. I will end you. You will try. And here comes the big boss. How am I going to fight this thing? We need to stop him. I know. But how do I... Uh... Whoever that is, don't believe anything he says. I'm sure Nutsen is still there somewhere. I promise I'd get her out. I'm not backing down. That's the spirit. You've been through worse. Now, go kick this guy's ass. A bit of a... Uh, jump. Not working. 
Ow. Okay. That's one. Nope, nope. Ouch. Okay, that hurts. Fly away, fly away. Ow. Okay, I don't know what that's all about. Cover. Ow. Oh, uh, this one's gonna hurt. This one's gonna hurt. Try me. Just one more. more health. There you are. Gotcha. That was irritating. You... I thought you were my friend. <sighs> Universe is merciless, human. Let that be your final lesson. Today, balance is regained. The gods rise once more. And you? You take your final place amongst the cosmic dust. I did break all of those cores, so...
You really thought I would leave you to fight this asshole all alone? Ma? No one messes, messes with my girl. Impossible. Eckley, over here. I'm coming, Ma. Bust down that door. I'm gonna get you out of there. You hear? It's gonna be okay, I promise. Ma? What are you doing? What a mother should. It was about time that I started looking out for you and not the other way around. Ma, let go of those. This will short circuit all six energy containers. The load will kill you. It will expose his core. Ma, stop it. Please. You can find another way. Ackley. Can't lose you, too. Listen to me. We both know this is the only way. You are my whole world, baby. And you've come such a long way. Helping you become who you are today is the greatest achievement of my life. Ma, no. It's only... You only have a few seconds. Make them count. I love you, Ida. If she's not knocked out cold, this is her only chance. It's in his forehead. Feathers? She really still in there. Please, lend me your power. Stop them. Thank you. Well done, baby. I'm proud of you, kiddo. And that's when I said, no, it's not enough to make those records public. We need it to be a huh. statement. All right. Huh? So you're going to speak faster than I can read it, huh? Uh -huh. 
All right. So he had to take care of a cleanup, so I'm covering his 5:30 lecture. Sorry, I can't do dinner tonight. Also, I was talking to the new can council, and they still wanna want to add that second stone carving of you fighting the giants. I know you're being modest and all, but you're going to be in the textbooks any anyway, so what's a little artwork? Anyway, call me back when you can. Huh? Well, looks like I'm gonna have to hit the road. I need to go and make sure no crappy artist is gonna mess up my silhouette. It's always nice to talk to you. Salt. Saltil. Salty? I don't know how to pronounce these words. <laughs> uh, same time next week? And tell Dad I said hi. And that was Aztec, the Forgotten Gods. I hope you guys enjoyed. I I enjoyed it. Only problem was some of the boss fights uh, were well. Kind of annoying. But I think I'm gonna leave it here. I'll let you guys enjoy the credits, and I'll see you guys in the next game. I get to, so until then, see you guys. <laughs>